Yo guys and hangover gang, I saw this drop literally seconds before I was going to go out to the gym. So here I am in my gym kit, <clears throat> just got back, a little bit sweaty, but I had to check this out for my man Tom McDonald. Guys, I saw what happened last night. It's about one o'clock in the morning. I was just about to go to bed, turn on the TV. It was all over the news. And this is with the assassination attempt of Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump. Unfortunately, someone died in that assassination attempt, but thankfully, Donald Trump is safe and well. He was grazed on the right side of his ear. And a lot of people are saying about conspiracy theories, this, that, and everything else. But I actually think God had a hand and God moved that bullet somehow. It grazed Trump, but thank goodness he wasn't hurt. But I'm not checking this out for political opinions and political persuasions. I'm not from the US, I'm from the UK, so <clears throat> I don't even know enough about right and left politics, this, that, and everything else. All I know is that, thank goodness he's safe. And then our man, our man <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. <coughs> excuse me. <sighs> our man Tom McDonald has just dropped this cut called You've Missed. Guys, I read in the blurb that he wrote it almost straight after seeing what happened to Trump and he mixed it, he put the music together, everything else. So I don't know what this is going to be. I know it's going to be something serious. So let's check out our man. And yeah, it says here, the events that took place yesterday are a horrifying example of political extremism in America. And I've been saying this for a very long time, people. And it doesn't matter if you are on the extreme left or you're on the extreme right. I've seen this happen. I saw this happen in Germany. Well, I didn't see it. I read it. I read it when I did my European history. We had the extreme left in Germany going up against the extreme right when Germany had hyperinflation, everything else. It just was the perfect field for these extremes to materialize and to grow and absolute chaos. And what I think our man is saying here, I keep thinking Trump, <laughs> but I mean, McDonald, Tom McDonald is saying is that we've allowed this to fest and to grow. And when there's extremism, there's other things, people. Anyway, I've been talking too much. Let our man go. Let's hear what he's got to say. They burning the country down with their progressiveness. It started with changing what gender is. Then graduated to your racist if you think that your life matters and your skin don't have melanin. They don't want peace, they want skeletons. They want men to pretend that they're feminine. They don't want an election, they got so offended by freedom that they just try killing the president. I used to think that the world were misguided, but now I can see that they're evil. Twitter is angry that Trump isn't dead. You know who got shot? Innocent people. Th I did not know that. So Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. I don't go on social media. I haven't actually gone on social media since. I've just watched the news. And I don't even watch the news normally, so I watched it for about an hour yesterday. Really? But if people are angry that Trump isn't dead, then this is a seriously sad world we live in because two wrongs don't make a right. I remember 2016, everyone's saying about Donald Trump, he's wicked, he's this, he's that. But these people don't understand or don't realise. They should have taken a mirror to themselves because what they say that Trump was doing, they're doing themselves. If you're wishing wickedness and harm on other people and then you're saying Trump is doing that, then you're a hypocrite, people. I'm sorry. You've got to live your life the right way. We are all human beings. So if you want human beings to be treated fairly, then you should want all human beings to be treated fairly, not just human beings who match your political persuasion, who match your gender identification, who match whatever, who match, I don't know. I am a massive fan of the human race. I don't care if you're male, female, boy, girl, old, young, able-bodied, disabled-bodied, whatever black, white, I don't care. If you're a human being, then I'm a fan of the human race. If you're not a human being, then <laughs> that's another diff different conversation, people. But if you really respect the human beings and you respect the human race, then you respect everyone. Everyone has a different political pos position, a political persuasion, has different 
views to all of us. We all have different viewpoints, but that doesn't mean that you should hate someone because they have a different viewpoint to you. You debate, and that's what I'm talking about, people. But, oh my gosh, if that's true, and people are saying that they wish Donald Trump was dead, then there is no hope for this human race, people. There is no hope for this human race. And right now, people, you don't even understand, AI is coming up on our shoulder. Artificial intelligence is coming up on our shoulder, the hive mind. So if you're beginning to think things are bad now, you wait till AI takes over. We ain't, none of us gonna have a job. <laughs> We're all gonna be scrabbling around in the debris, trying to eat and trying to exist. Trust me on that, people. Don't get me triggered. Oh my gosh. But now I can see that they're evil. Twitter is angry that Trump isn't dead. You know who got shot? Innocent people. Thought y'all were tolerant, thought we were equals. I thought you valued how everyone feels. And you see, tolerant, equal, you value everyone's feelings. If you are not a fan of the human race, then you have a real problem. A real problem. Oh my gosh. I thought you valued how everyone feels. Then why are y'all celebrating an attempted assassination like you're part of Antifa? Mm. My goodness. I wasn't going to comment on this, people, but I am just at a loss. I am really despairing of this world, people. I love talking to all of you guys, Hangover Gang. I love talking to all of you guys. I love checking out all what's going on in your lives when Tom McDonald drops a track. But if this is what is the outcome of the shooting, the shooting should have brought America together. Really? If the shooting has made America go even further apart and the polarities have gone even wider, then there is no hope for anyone. There is no hope for anyone. People, we need to stick together and we need to sort things out because having a go at Trump, having a go at Biden is not the right thing, people. Right now, we need to get together and we need to sort out the things like the economy, which has absolutely tanked. Oh my gosh, the economy has tanked. If you think things are bad now, you wait a few months. Oh my gosh. An assassination like you're part of Antifa. Thank God the left can't aim. Thank God the right don't riot. Welcome to the home of the brave. Freedom and afraid of violence. You wish you was dying? Bitch, you missed. Thank God the left can't aim. Why can't we just shoot straight? Y'all are going insane. Bitch, you missed. There's no one else you can blame. Try to lock him up in a cage. Now you trying to kill what you hate. Bitch, you missed. Told us trust the science, but it never made sense to me. Why would we put all our trust in the enemy? Mm, trust the science, but it never made sense to me. And Tom's done a few songs about bits and pieces over the years, people. And it's triggered a lot of people. But, oh my goodness. I've never seen Tom in this in this mood really because normally what he will do is he will present both sides of the argument he will toss and flip the coin and he'll take it from both sides but right now he's so angry he's so angry you missed my goodness my goodness. We put all our trust in the enemy. Millions of people are hooked on amphetamines. They're making billions on untested remedies. Borders are open to people with felonies. Biden can't stop them. He don't have the energy. Y'all want to kill the man trying to fight for a better tomorrow by making him Kennedy? I tried to... Oh, you want to kill a man who's going to fight for tomorrow by making him Kennedy? Because JF Kennedy was fighting for the new future for the United States. But there were people behind the scenes who didn't like that and didn't want him to fight for the future. And also Kennedy was saying there are unseen forces behind the scenes who are preventing him from bringing out better days for America as a whole. They didn't want it, people. So some people think, again, this is where the conspiracy theory term comes along, isn't it? All around JF Kennedy, the moon landing, so all around the 60s, that kind of time. <clears throat> so Trump, whatever you think about him, is he's got a definite viewpoint on certain situations you might agree with it you might not agree with it but it's got a definite viewpoint and he said he's going to do it but i don't know people i don't know and i definitely don't agree with if you disagree with someone's politics that you think it's right to take someone out it isn't right it's never right to take someone out. for a better tomorrow by making them kennedy i tried to give y'all a chance like maybe the left isn't nuts i was wrong because y'all are exactly as crazy as every conservative person i know said you were all along when a pro so Tom said that he did try and just have an even keel, an even viewpoint about the left side of politics. 
but what happened yesterday with the shooting has Tom no longer wow guys let me know in the comments section what are your viewpoints on what happened yesterday has it reinforced your viewpoint or are you of my mind as well just saying listen this is now the absolute zero point we've reached zero we need to reset and start again and bring everyone with us if you don't want to come with us we'll leave you behind but this is your chance to reset and just bring everyone with us because it's going to take everyone to deal with what is coming in the future people the next period is not going to be good trust me on that people and this is why i've been triggered on my channel people i keep telling people i've been telling people and it's not just the economy i've been telling people for a long time what's over the horizon people just look at what's over the horizon what is over your shoulder it is coming it is coming it is coming protests go hard when the burn sites go off but y'all are so triggered that you're pulling triggers at presidents y'all the terrorists when you're armed thank god the left can't aim thank god the right don't riot welcome to the home of the brave freedom and afraid of violence you wish you was dying bitch you missed thank god the left can't aim why can't we just shoot straight y'all are going insane bitch you missed there's no one else you can blame try to lock them up in a cage now you're trying to kill what you hate bitch you missed wow oh my gosh <sighs> guys <laughs> wow it's so strange because literally a couple of days ago so this is now sunday night on friday night UK time so this is Sunday night UK time on Friday night UK time Tom McDonald released Heroes which I thought was one of the most sensational tracks I've heard in such a long time it's so minimalist and it just put the people who are forgotten who are invisible at the front and center of the message that they are heroes you don't need to wear pants above your tights or whatever you want to call it or even over your, over your pants <laughs> short pants over your long pants <laughs> to be a hero people and tom was so right but now because of what's happened just a few hours ago tom has now come up and he said listen you missed and he is steaming angry steaming angry but my viewpoint is because maybe it's because i'm on the outside looking in people when you're in the middle of something you can be really 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 triggered but i'm on the outside looking in and i'm looking at the bigger picture and the bigger picture here is this is the one time the one time when the democrats and the republicans and all of the people should really just sit down and just say listen this is a chance to reset and start to maybe realign how we look at the politics because right now i'm seeing and i don't even remember because i'm not a massive politician politic fan po fan of politics but before 2016 i wasn't really concerned about politics i didn't really hear that much about american politics but from the moment donald trump stood all i just was hearing was just vitriol 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 i don't know all the ins and outs of it people and i don't pretend to but if that is how they want to present the politics, leave me out, people. That is not politics to me. Politics is about looking at the bigger picture. It's looking about decision making. It's looking about free thinking. It's looking about negotiating. It's looking about how do you do deals. It's looking at diplomacy. This is politics to me. Politics isn't about slinging mud and throwing punches and shouting and screaming at your opponent that's not politics politics is actually meant to be for the people and what i'm seeing over the last 10 years isn't for the people so this is a chance to reset to get back together people and because as i said before as well we are headed for some tough times real tough times and real tough times we have to make some tough decisions as well and if you are so polar opposite you're going to stop number a from doing anything so b is going to stop a a is going to stop b and nothing's going to get done things are going to get worse so 
this is a chance, people, where we all need to think and to think very, very, very hard about what's happening, what we're doing and where we want to be. So I know where we are now, but where do we want to be? How are we going to get there? And how are we going to take everyone with us? Guys, Tom is very angry. Very angry there, guys. But let me know in the comment section what you think. So I'm on the outside looking in, so maybe I shouldn't have an opinion. I don't know. But guys, it is what it is. You missed. Thank thankfully, thankfully he missed. But guys, let me know in the comments section. But have yourself a great evening. Make certain you look after yourselves, you look after each other. And guys, make certain you come back to the next Urban Bars reaction, guys. <laughs>